Yeah. Hey yo, man, it's your time. And fuck poverty. What's up, everybody? This is a Phil Believer Judgmental Podcast. We got Phil back in the house. And I'm Leroy. And we got the re- we got the returning champ with us again, Mr. Jeff Baker. <laughs> <laughs> uh Erie, Pennsylvania's own Pittsburgh Steelers fan, Jeff Baker. I'm sorry. I should have said that part. Well, th- this episode is our uh well, we said in Jeff Jeff Baker's episode that we were gonna <laughs> judge sneakers. Uh, more importantly, Philip is going judge sneakers. Philip and Jeff is going judge, judge sneakers. All three of us. <laughs> but before I get to that, I got I got two things to say. Uh, number one, Jeff, let me tell you something about Philip. Philip <laughs> oh, is uh, Philip is uh, he, it's something with him and ordering food. Either mm-hmm. the order's wrong, it's cold. He don't get this. Uh, uh, it's always uh, it's always a problem. He always got a story. Hold on, hold on. It's not what? the cold. The cold you expect the cold. That's not the problem. It's always something else besides <laughs> that. <laughs> so uh, the other day he sent me a text. When was this? Oh, yesterday he sent me a text that he was waiting on some menu cards for Mickey D's and Caraba. I don't know what that Carabas is. Carabas. Yeah. What is uh, that? This is a uh, restaurant. You know, yeah. Man. So uh, he he's supposed to be getting these cars and was going to complain about it. So the platform is all yours, sir. Go for it. <laughs> so you just want me to explain what happened. Well, it's, and, and another thing is not just food, but when I pay for something, I want what I paid for. Simple as that. So this, I had like three situations within like the last month. The first one was I told you about what was the pods. Remember the uh the Todd pods that I bought offline eBay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so so it's three hundred pods and it was like for forty bucks. When they came in the mail, I said, "Hey, let me count these because people want some funny shit." I was eighteen pods short, so I reached out to the bull and I said, "Yo, it's eighteen pods short. I don't want to give you no bad review. What are we gonna do about this?" He was like, look, I can give you $2 or you can do whatever you want to do. I was like, damn, you're making it seem like I did something wrong. I can't, <laughs> do, eight, I can't do 18 loads of laundry with, with, with two bucks. I want, I just wanted the pods. He's like, well, do what you got to do and have a Merry Christmas. I'm like, damn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, how was I wrong on that situation? Well, like, did you get this person a bad review? Yes. Okay. And they don't, uh, eBay doesn't send you anything when they give you a, well, when you, well, no, what it, you know how they do? They say before you send a bad review, make sure you reach out to the person and this and that like that. Right. I didn't complain. I didn't complain to eBay because it is what it is. You know what I mean? But if it was something bigger and I spent a lot of money on, then I would have put it through eBay, and that way they make sure you get evened out. You get your money back, or you know what I mean? You get your product, one or the other. But mm-hmm. since it was just short, I mean, eighteen pods is a lot. You know what I mean? If it was like five pods or even less than ten, I'd have been like, whatever. He got got over a little bit. It wasn't a big deal. But that's I, I've got it so many times. I can just tell when the bag looked a little different. <laughs> <laughs> now, now is that is that my fault, Jeff? What did I do wrong? No, no, no. Because as the as the business, they are supposed to uh, give you what you pay for. Right, and that's all I expected him to pack a little eighteen back in a in a box and send it to me. Uh, instead of giving me attitude like i uh, did something wrong all right now what happened uh with this uh <laughs> with this so that, that that probably was like maybe three weeks ago <laughs> then i went to mcdonald's earlier this week what was it last week might have been last week and i go to the i went to the hood mcdonald's and i try not to go to the hood mcdonald's <laughs> Because the hood McDonald's, you can expect your shit to be fucked up. But it's closer to my house than going all the way to the, the good McDonald's. So I go to the hood McDonald's, pull up in the driveway. Is, is no this block. on Willen Avenue? You talking no, about? No, this is in Darby. On on uh, McDade Boulevard? Yes, McDade. Okay. Go ahead. Why you so, call it the hood McDonald's? Because there's a lot of young black people that work there. <laughs> and work all the time. And that, and that makes it hood, you race. Yes, yes. <laughs> When I go to the white McDonald's, that should be nice and hot and proper. Uh, you sound like something that my father would say that. It's facts. I mean, I hate oh, to say that. Oh, that's not true all the time. 
McDonald's. Hood like, McDonald's got a, mostly young black people working there, and they always fuck up your order or they make <laughs> you wait for long as hours. It's supposed to be fast food because when I pulled up, there's nobody in the drive through. I was like, all right, bet. And I got my daughter with me. All, all she wanted was a Happy Meal. And she'll tell you what she wants, too. You know what I mean? She wants chicken, fries, a soda, and apples. So I went there. I, as soon as I pulled up to the drive drive through, I'm waiting and waiting. I'm like, yo, yo, because ain't nobody saying nothing. You know, he's like, supposed to say something. I'm pretty sure there's a buzzer or something that go on. Uh, pause. What time is this? This was, I want to say, 1, 2 o'clock ish, something like that. Like oh, right okay. around right before lunch, around lunchtime, right after. You know All right, I mean? that's unacceptable for the, for them not to. Uh, I'm thinking you was you was talking. It was like later at night sometime. So, but. And they have they have two drive throughs So I went to the one where nobody was there, but it was you know another car, the other one. So after waiting for a little while, I'm like, yo, yo, and then somebody finally picked up. Was like, welcome to McDonald's. Can you wait for a minute? Or can you hold for a minute? I'm like, damn, I was just holding for a minute. So I'm like, all right, I'm waiting and waiting. Only thing I ordered was a Happy Meal. I didn't get nothing for myself. I was like, Happy Meal with apples. They said, okay, pull around. They put it on the receipt and everything. But, you know, when you roll to the window, you're waiting for your food. Then they tell you to pull up. I don't know why they do this pull up thing. So now I'm pulling up further down the driveway. They're going to come to the door and bring me the Happy Meal, I guess. So I'm like, whatever. I don't know what's going on. All I'm getting is a Happy Meal. I get the Happy Meal. I just roll out and I get home. There's no apples in the bag. And she's asking for the apples. I'm like, shit, I don't know. Ain't no apples. And that's the second time they forgot apples. So I always make sure. I was like, yo, can you make sure you got the apples? Because last time I didn't get the apples. They said, yeah. And they still don't put the apples in the bag. I don't understand that. So I reached out to McDonald's. <laughs> corporate. <laughs> this, is, this is the second time I, uh, maybe like two years ago, I reached out to McDonald's to complain before. <laughs> they said, oh, but, uh, no, not you again. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't the same location. But <laughs> they probably know. <laughs> Yo, so, so, so ma- the managers have the managers have these uh anything free cards that they give out to like you know people that complain. And you get any any meal no. value meal off the menu for free. So they sent me a letter. They called me on the phone. I talked to her, and she said she was going to send me an apology letter. She's going to send me some uh you know the manager cards or whatever. I'm like, all right, thanks, no big deal. But that was the second time they forgot my apples. You know what I mean? So I was like, what the hell? If, if it didn't happen, if that was the first time, like it was before, I would have let it ride. Second time, that's why I don't go to the hood McDonald's like that. <laughs> that that by no, no means is the hood. I, how's that my fault? And why ain't it the hood? Because it's not. I, I thought you was talking about Woolen Avenue or something like that. It might as well be. If I go, <laughs> if I go, if I push back out here to the suburbs, nice. Friendly people. Right here. Here the order is right and it's and, and it's and it's hot. I go up there, I get cold, soggy fries. I gotta wait for oh, for somebody attention. Goodness, and then they still forget shit. You How sound, is that my fault? You sound just like something that my father would say. Because he say the same shit. Facts. It ain't, it ain't no made up shit, it's facts. Okay. And you can tell it's facts when, when I talk to the manager and then she say, Yeah, we had a lot of complaints about this location. What did that tell you? That ain't me. <laughs> that a lot of y'all complain. That y'all, a lot of y'all shouldn't be eating at McDonald's. How about that? <laughs> if, my, if my daughter want to eat a Happy Meal, she can eat a Happy Meal. All right. <laughs> put it in the box. Make some chicken nuggets, put it in the box and say, hey, here's your Happy Meal. <laughs> cut cut oh, some la- apples up. Cut some apples up and hand it to her. Well, the last time, it was probably like two or three years ago, I went to um, 69th Street McDonald's. And when I went there, there was two young girls in there, but they were playing around and just gossiping and talking. We in line. There's like maybe three of us. We like, yo, what's going on here? Somebody going to wait on us or not? We just stand there looking at each other all stupid. So I went to the counter and I was like, yo, is anybody working? And then she came over with an attitude, but then she started taking our orders. But then when I got home, I didn't have no fries in my bag. And all I got was like a, a damn number one. How you forget fries? She would be doing dumb shit on purpose. <laughs> so... When yeah, I complained about I, I complained about that one, and uh, that's when she sent me the four uh, manager cards. But that was like three years ago. That was a different person it's in a different location. Uh, um, were you finished or? Oh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why I complained because I remember in the night one of my teachers he put the bug in my head. He was like, "When you the consumer and you buying stuff," he was like, "Uh." If you pay for something, you should get what you pay for. He was like, in a lot of these companies, they will reimburse you 
and take care of you. So you need to let them know when they mess up. So ever since he told me that, when somebody mess up like that, I'll be on that shit. Uh, did I ever tell you I did that with Timberland Boots? No. Uh, well, <clears throat> I had some brown Timberland boots that I had for like years. I had those Timberland boots ever since I was in high school. And um, I used to, they was all beat up and everything. So I, when it was wintertime, I used to use it to shovel the snow with. So I'm out there shoveling the snow. And the uh, bottom of the sole just disintegrated and just fell off. <laughs> Blah. And I'm shoveling the snow. So these was my walk around boots. I didn't really care. So I had one up to the, um, you, you know, the shoe store on Willow Avenue across the street from the police station, the shoe repair yeah. place. So I had That's one up there. Years. Yeah. So I had one in there and I had told him, I had told him I, the same thing I told you, like, I don't care. These are like boots. I just, I, um, shovel snow with. And he mm. said, well, I just want you to like glue, glue the soul back on. And he was like, you know what you do? You call Timberland and you tell Timberland, like you just bored him, bored him. And, uh, they'll ask you like where you bought them from and all your, all that stuff. They'll tell you to send it to them and they'll give you a new pair. And I'm saying to myself, I had these boots for like during 10 or 12 years. At that time, it was like <laughs> 10 or 12 years. I'm like, there's no way they're going to do that. I'm saying that to myself. So as soon as I got home, I had called them. And he, he, he what he said, they, t- they, they asked me like, where'd you get them from and what happened? So I just lied and said, yeah, I got them from Odell's. I don't know how long ago. It was like around about like a year or so ago. And I'm outside and the soul just came off. <laughs> and it was like, well, okay, sir, write it in the letter and send, and send it to us. Don't you know, like three weeks later, I got a fresh new pair of, of, of brown Timberlands. Now I'm pissed because now I don't have no damn boots to shovel snow with. <laughs> <laughs> it's very messy. Yeah. That's funny. You never told me that one. Yeah, uh-huh. Yep. And he and he was like, you can do it for all type of sneakers. I tried it once with uh, Nikes, but they mm-hmm. weren't having that because they they uh told me to open up the sole and you read the, the dates and stuff. I had mm-hmm. these sneakers for a long time. These are these are like my my sneakers I would cut grass with, and the sole came off on of them too, and I had glued it back on. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it and see. And when I did it to them, they said, "Oh no, those are too too old." See, look at you. You messing with me, but you backdoor doing the same shit. Yep. And I, I like he told me to do it. I'm like, damn, that thing worked too. Well. Mm-hmm. Well, the second story I want to get into is uh, Jeff on Tuesday. You tweeted. Some lady thought she was going to talk reckless to me at work today. So I hit her with this number and got up and walked away. Talk about mad. So do you want to explain that? No, man, look. So the lady came up. She thought, you know, she was going to get something. So Greyhound has a policy that says, you know, if you miss your bus or you don't change your ticket before, uh, you, you have to buy a whole new ticket. So she thought that she was going to walk in and just talk crazy to me and just be like, look, you, you're going to change my ticket. I said, okay. No, she just, you know, just being just being loud, loud and ignorant. I said, okay, you know what? Any, any other day, I would, I, would just, I, would, I would tell them, you know what, get out. Get out. I'm not even, even about to have this argument with you. Get out. But you know what? I, 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 because when, when uh, she was uh, screaming and yelling, I just looked down because I'm just acting like, you know, I, I ain't really paying her no, no, no attention. So I said, yeah, here's exactly how I'm going. I'm going to get hurt. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot this thing lights up. So I just uh, reached, reached in, 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 reached right in the side of, of, of a sweater and just lit it up on it and just uh, stared. And she, I'm, she I'm about me, to. Are you I'm hearing? To, yeah, I'm about to say it to uh, Phil, your yeah, uh, tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. You can see yeah. it in the chat, Phil. Yeah, she was like, "Sir, sir, are you hearing me?" I said, "You know what? I just got up and walked away." And <laughs> and I walked, I walked, I walked to to the back because, you know, I, I I'm trying to bite my tongue. I'm trying not to, you know, fly off the handle and and, and, and you know, cuss her out or anything like that because I'm, you know, I'm I'm trying to practice patience today. So I said, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to walk to the back. I ain't even about to sit up here and argue with this lady. 
And she's walking and, and she started walking out the building and all you hear is MF this and MF that. And and who is your manager and, and, and whatnot? And, and I'm just like, OK, whatever. Like, I'm not even I'm not even about to entertain this best at all. Yeah, it's it's the holiday season. I, I'm not trying to, you know, be anybody's Grinch or Scrooge or anything like that. But yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, did you want to add something, Phil? No, I was uh, I was going to tell you about the second story before you moved on. It was Carabas yesterday. Oh, I forgot all about the Carabas. Go ahead. Well, Carabas they would make real good food and they pack it real nice. It's always hot and just everything is good. So I always get like steak, the steak, you know, medium well. And I get like this uh, pasta with shrimp and chicken slamming to the T. But uh, yesterday when we, when we ordered for pickup, it was like it'll be ready at five o'clock. We got there maybe a little after five o'clock. So but there's nobody walking around. So all the cars are sitting at the uh, pickup, you know, the pickup stations where they're supposed to have somebody come out. Mm-hmm. Nobody's coming out. So at five fifteen, I'm like, "What the hell's going on?" So I walked to the window. It's like, "Yo, I'm here to pick up my food. It ain't never come yet." So they was like, "What's the name?" And I told them the name. Okay, it'd be out in a second. I looked through the window. They got all this food on both shelves for pickup. All these cars in the pickup joint, but nobody's running food out. So I'm like, "What the hell?" But anyway, I paid for the food. On my way, uh, that was one strike right there. We just sitting there and nobody getting their food, but the food's sitting in the window. But uh, when I got the food, I had it on my lap when we was coming home. And it probably like, what, 15, 20 minute ride to the house. And it was real hot. Here, I'm thinking the food is just real hot on my butt. The food was leaking out of the bag onto my lap. So the food le- leaked uh, through my pants, through my shorts and my drawers. And I'm sitting there just thinking like, man, this food is real, real hot because, you know, it's real cold. It's, it's real cold outside, so it's kind of hard to tell with, like, a real hot bag on your lap. But when I get up, that's when the whole bag, like, opened up from the bottom. So then I got to grab it, like, all awkward, trying to keep everything together. My wife's seat get all nasty. So when I look in the bag, one of the mills, they never closed the top on it. And that's why I was out. And then we had three soups. Two soups was laying flat at the bottom, <laughs> like it's supposed to. But then they turned another soup sideways so it would fit across you know, like they packing it real neat, but you can't put soup on the side. So right. that one soup poured out, and then my girl's, uh, my wife's meal poured out, and that's all the stuff that was like on me and on my pants and everything. So I was like, "What the hell?" It was like it was just a mess. Piss me off. So of course, you know, I got all like all the stains all over my clothes, and so now I just can't come home and eat. I gotta like do laundry and stuff. So I had to put that with some other stuff. And it was just a fucking joke. All right, so you complained, and you I didn't you- complain. I didn't complain. My wife, I told her she needed to reach out to Carabas about that. She reached out <laughs> to them, and uh, they got back to her. So we are gonna be all right. <laughs> <laughs> so did so there you go, but, Jeff. If but if how you- is that how is that my fault? They put a who packs a soup sideways or a container with with uh juices in it and not snap the container shut? How is that my fault? Well, Jeff, if you ever go to lunch or, or dinner with Phil. Just be prepared because your food is going to be messed up, too. <laughs> you see, he has these problems. We'll get at least one story about this every week. But, but, like it's not, but it's not me. It's like I got a damn rain cloud following me around when it comes to order food or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, go ahead. Uh, we'll get back on to the story. Well, here we go, y'all. We doing our sneaker review. And if I can find it, hold on. Hold on for a second. Uh, there you go. All right. This is our sneaker review. Can you see it? I don't All right. See yeah, there you go. You don't see it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, y'all. Here's the first sneakers. Adidas Forums 84. Go oh, ahead, Jeff. Oh, yeah. go, ahead. Go, go ahead, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> no. Nah. You know what? I mean, that was like Jordan Mons to me. <laughs> for real. They look like Jordan ones. I don't know. Do. Yeah, I mean, I rock them. I rock them. Mm-hmm. Back in the days, most definitely. I mean, they 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 look like a vintage Jordan one that Mike just wore in a game or something. I never uh I never had a pair, but I always thought they was cool sneakers. 
I like uh, those too. I will give uh, them. You want the rating number or what? Yes. 10 is the best. 10, 10 being the best and 5 being average, all right? Yes. What did you give it, Jeff? I'm going to give it a 7. And, yeah, I'll give it a 7. 7? I was thinking around 7, 7.5, so I'm going to go 7.5. Yeah, I give it a 7, too. I'm shocked that you feel. So I thought Why? you were going to say it. Because I thought you would say you'll give it a 5 or something. Why would I do that? I don't know. That's your you, thing. You got a pair of those, don't you? Yeah, I had a pair. I had a pair of gray ones, and I had a pair of, of this same color, but they were sky blue, not not this uh, not this. This is a darker blue, but uh, yeah, that one was kind of a sky blue, and I had a gray. The gray ones was a uh, patent leather. Okay. I don't I don't really wear Adidas. I think I got uh, some running running sneakers. That's Adidas. That's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. So here's another Adidas. Adidas Original Centuries. Go ahead, Phil. I, uh, I'm gonna say an eight. I like those. Uh, it yeah. looks like it looks like my Air Maxes. So yeah, I like those. Okay, Jeff. Yeah. yeah, same thing. I'm gonna say is an eight. I like those. I I really do. I would, I would rock those, man. That yeah. Those well, are uh, those are throwbacks. Uh, d- yeah, they are uh, the the original ones. Of course, you know how they modernize it somewhat. Right. But uh, you know they brought them back. These are original centers. Uh, uh, if you search for it, I'm pretty sure you can find them. I mean, they for yeah. sale now. Meaning they for sale now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I I like them too, and I would uh buy a pair. I would give it probably about an eight and a half. If you yeah. put them up, if you put them up with the Air Max, it's almost the same type of uh, design. Yep. show sure is, show sure is. All right, now this one is a a, a throwback, Adidas ZX Seven Hundreds. Go ahead, Phil. I like those too. I'm gonna give those an eight too. Yeah, I and I gotta agree with him. Like those are dope. Like I mean, they would definitely be great for right now because they do like you know a little bit of a holiday shoe. I mean, I got some traction on the I bottom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice traction too. Yeah, I give it about an eight too. Um, uh, the, of course, you know the originals didn't really look like this. They kind of modernized it somewhat, but it, it has the same uh, color colorway. And I'm this is not fun so far because Philip is giving uh, the the sneakers I pick. He gave them some great reviews on them. I'm shocked. <laughs> these sneakers that you're picking, these sneakers, they're sporty and they're they're uh kind of uh similar to Air Max. So why would I give it a bad yeah. rating if you know how I feel about the Air Max? Yeah. <laughs> All right, now here now some shitty sneakers now. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> here's the, the AI Reebok answers. Go for it, Jeff. No, there's no way. Not those. <laughs> Not those. No, no, man. Look. Space boot. Look. Look, the rating, the rating is already on there. It says a three is on. Uh, that's there, just so. what I was about to say. I, I say I'm gonna give it just what it say on there a three. <laughs> I'm gonna have to agree with y'all on that. One. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I mean, it, and the only reason why it, 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 it's a three is because it's Allen Iverson. I mean, I rock with with, with AI hard, so. Uh, all threes. Yeah. 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 Mm-mm. All right. Now here's the AI Reebok questions. Go ahead, Jeff. Nine, nine and a half. Because <laughs> that's just a classic. It's mm. a classic, a classic AI shoe. I probably have uh two, maybe three times. Yeah, yeah, that's a classic. I mean, man, I I, I can never get tired of this shoe. I mean, I, I I have probably like five, I think five uh, AI jerseys in different colors, and you know, I got a white one, I got a red one, I got a blue one. They all match. They they all match match this. I mean, this is phew, it's just a, a classic shoe right there. Go ahead, Phil. I'm gonna give it a eight and a half. I remember when they first came out, I was like, "Yo, them sneakers are still dope. I gotta get a pair." And I had one pair. But I felt like shit. I felt good when I had them on. You know what I mean? That's a, that was a good sneaker. So you felt like Allen Iverson? You can jump high. 
Sometimes <laughs> you feel like that when back in the balling days when you get a fresh pair of sneakers and yeah. it's a, a player, you feel like that player. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know about y'all, but them some ugly sneakers. I'm sorry, <laughs> and I give them prior. I give them a four. I'm God, shocked damn. that you would give them an eight. Why? Why would I give it a four if I had a pair? You would never see me buy a pair of sneakers that I would believe is a four. No, no. you know what I mean. That's a nice sneaker. That's not. That's probably his only good sneaker. All right, we got the uh, Air Max, the old school. I, I'm gonna say it old school because you're gonna see how the new ones look, how they mess these up. Here's the old school Air Max 95. Go for it, Jeff. Uh, I, I'm not a big 95 fan, so I'm gonna say like a six or a seven, just because it's you know it's OG. This is an OG sneaker, but I'm not a huge 95 fan. I'm. Don't get me wrong. It's not. It's not an ugly shoe. I'm just not a fan of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's a, it's a dope shoe, but I just, I mean, for me, I can't. I can't really get down with 95s. Give me any other 90s, I can do them. But 95s are just. I don't know. They. I have. I think maybe one, maybe two pair of 95s, maybe two. But I'm not a big fan of 95. But yeah, I mean, this is an OG, so I, I can't. I can't really rate it too bad because. I see. I see how they flew off the shelves the other day. So, uh, so I'm gonna say uh, a seven. These sneakers here, I never really liked them when they came out, but they look mm-hmm. they look decent on like little kids and on like girls. Mm-hmm. Sm- I guess because a smaller shoe, a smaller foot, it looked better. But for like a dude to me, nah, I wasn't really feeling them. So I'll give them like a six and a half, seven. All right, we another pair of sneakers we're gonna disagree with because these sneakers are ugly. I'll give them prior. I'll give them a four, maybe four. <laughs> I'll give them a four. A four. Them, yeah, them some ugly sneakers. <laughs> All right, here we got the uh, Nike Dunk High Black and White. Another a sneaker that Nike just butchered here because they like dunks, but they did this three D type of effect to them. You see how the uh, the swoosh symbol is. It's like wrapped around. Yeah, it's like 3D, kind of like a 3D was. All right, Jeff. Yeah. I know you, you got a pair, don't you, Jeff? <laughs> no. No, I got a pair of these because of uh, dunks. I don't, I don't have a lot of dunks, and this is why, because they be doing some outrageous stuff with some of these dunks, and, man, I, I'll, I'll, give it a, I'll give it a five just because it's Nike, but other than that, I I step on these hard, and I seen everybody because everybody's a hype beast when it comes to, to these dunks. Y'all can have them. Like I, I mean, there are a couple that I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll try to get them, but yeah, not these. I'm good. And black's my favorite color. I just I, I try to just try and look at them like, yeah, I can do this, but then and I'm like, no, I can't forget this, man. Them, them is not for me. <laughs> uh-uh. I can't. I'm good. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, Phil. What I have to say a five. Why? I'm not. I'm not feeling the big Nike wraparound uh, mm-hmm. swoosh. I'm not feeling that. I'm not 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 feeling the big flap underneath it. It just looked too big and plain. Mm-hmm. You see that big flap that's underneath the the swoosh that's coming across where the shoestrings at? Yeah, kind of mm-hmm. like it's, don't belong there or need some more help or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So well, I would say a five. Well, Philip gave a, a five as too high of a score to me. I, I get it. I give him a, a Reebok, <laughs> Reebok, uh, uh, Al Iverson three on him because uh, <laughs> if you if you want to make nah, they better than the three. If you want to bring dunks back, just make a regular dunk. Why got to be all this special stuff to it? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, we're all OG men, so you know the, all the all this extra stuff. They ain't even got to do all that. Just come back with the OG stuff and watch how fast it fly. Yep. Because yep. uh, cause I like Nike. Well, they ain't nothing but Jordan 1s anyway. So, That's but if they, yeah. Right. If you want to bring them back, just bring them back as a regular shoe. What's all this, yeah. old, this extra stuff? Uh, We got the A6 Gel Light 3. Go for it, Phil. I can't wait to hear this one. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the A6. But the shape of the shoe and the design is not bad. So I'm going to go, like, would I wear it? If somebody bought it for me, yeah. If I got to buy it, no. 
I'm probably going to say uh, six and a half. All right. Yep. Uh, uh, six, Jeff? Yeah. Well, here's re- – no. It, it's going to be a six or seven, not this colorway. Not mm-hmm. this colorway. If right. there was the other colorways, the, like, like I have the, the dragon fruit and I have the, the, the purple one, and those are dope. Those mm-hmm. are very dope. I, but I just can't do, do this colorway. I mean, the, they are – and I wore the purple pair. The purple pair, man, look, those, these shoes are comfortable. These shoes I are was, very comfortable. I was going to say the same thing on, on my uh, boat. I was yeah, going to say man. the same exact thing. Those, Did you those, give it, Roy? Wait a minute. When, uh, what you, you done, uh, Jeff? Yeah, go ahead. I would give it about a seven and a half. Uh, like Jeff said, those are some comfortable shoes. Those are man. probably like the most comfortable pair of sneakers you can put your feet in. Very, very comfortable. Um, they're running shoes, right? They're, I think that's probably why they're so comfortable because I think, yeah. The Ace, yeah, they're running shoes. So, yeah, that's a very comfortable sneaker, uh, Philip. So, if you're going to find you some with different colorways, like Jeff said, you should get a mm-hmm. pair. Yep. Yeah, I was shocked. I, I, I was very shocked. I'm like, man, I walked in them, I walked around in them for like, for like all day. Like, and I usually take off my shoes, you know, when I come home or something. And um, I think I, I think I, I came home and I went 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 right back out, and man, I was just walking around and I'm like, oh, these are these are comfortable. Like I I I, I gotta give Aces their props on these. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not a bad looking shoe. The designs and stuff is not bad looking. It's just that is is Asics, and I don't wear Asics. You know what I mean? Like you said, because a different color pattern will boost that rate. If you go to uh, the, the official Asics uh, eBay store. You may can find some for cheap on cheap. sale. Yeah, you make them. I, I'm talking about like different colorways, but the same brand of sneaker. Yep. You make them find them for like thirty nine, forty dollars. Man, they had some for for like eighteen, nineteen dollars one time, and I don't know why I did not jump on that. Did you know how comfortable they was at that time? No, I did not. But no, but no, I I, I had heard people talking about them. Saying that that uh, they are comfortable, and I said, you know what, I got to see what all the hype is about, because um, I seen I seen this color, well not 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 this colorway, but I seen this shoe, but just in a di- different colorway. I said I like them. I said let me see what this hype is about with the whole comfortability, and uh, yeah, those are very comfortable shoes. I, I'm I got to give Aces their props on this. Yeah. Uh, now we have the Nike's SB Dunk Low. Oh, uh, Phil. Uh, low top Jordans. You know who they are? Uh, uh, I'm gonna the, say, the, uh, the, the color, yes, but they, those are the uh, skateboard sneakers. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say, not really feeling it. Uh, four. That's kind of, that's way low. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I mean, i give it a six. I mean, I'm not like I said. I'm not, I'm not a huge Dunks fan, but just and the only reason why I'm giving it a six is because if if you take the green off, they are gonna look like a Chicago Bulls colorway. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I was just looking. I don't need the two swooshes. Well, yeah. I give them. I, I give them a. I give them a six and a half. Uh, dunks. They, those are also comfortable uh, shoes. Also, I guess because yep. when you skateboarding, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I give him a good six. I I don't like the uh, the the second swoosh like y'all were talking about. Right. So yeah. like when you go on these uh these bullshit Chinese sites, that's when you start seeing double Nike signs or the Nike sign have a little extra curve to it and stuff like that. <laughs> don't play with the Nike sign like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the Grand Hill twos. Go for it, Phil. I I never liked these when they came out. So this is going to get another low rating in my book. I'm going to go with four. Okay. Uh, Jeff? I'm going to get these an eight. Ooh! Oh! 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 Yeah. Eight! Ooh! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because I've been trying to get this shoe, man, and I cannot, I can't, every time, every time I, every time I go, I go on Foot Lock's website, or go on East Bay or Foot Lock, my size is gone. I'd be like, dang, it look, man. It looked like a space boot. What are you talking about, an eight? 
<laughs> no, no, these fire. These look, look. These are dope. I mean, they they ain't Nike. They ain't Adidas. You know, they feel out, but those. Are, I mean, it's Grant Hill too. I mean, Grant Hill is peace. But uh, one to ten. But these, yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. What's she giving it, Phil? A two. All right, well, I'm in. Let me, let me, let me tell her that I'm in her boat because them some ugly shoes. Bro, they like in your boat. <laughs> they like they like Foreman Mill sneakers. Do you have Foreman Mill? Exactly. Yeah, hey, I, I know what you talk. Hey, Jeff gave it an eight. <laughs> Those are some. They like Foreman Mills, like Foreman Mills, uh, uh, sneakers uh, that you you're walking Foreman Mills and they got them uh, stacked up to the sea one. <laughs> That's what <laughs> you Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. You you might be right. I, do they have Foreman Mills in Erie? I'm not sure. No. No. Foreman Mills is like a. Um. Did you did you have Filings Basement back then? Right yeah, here. You, yeah. You, you can't even say Filings Basement because Filings Basement used to have a uh, uh, polo and stuff in there. What what kind of store would you say uh Foreman Mills is, Phil? It's a uh, um. I would say like a reject store. Like yeah. uh it's like, not a little like bit a, of everything, but a lot go ahead. You talking about like a TJ Maxx or something? No, it ain't like T because you can get polo and TJ Maxx. It's hard to explain. Yeah, you it's like uh like I used to I used to go there all the time and get like basketball shorts. You can get like and one, some decent basketball shorts out of there. You get uh socks, you get t shirts, but they have like Irregular. So when you buy like, let's say a, a pack of T-shirts, three pack whites, you might be getting them for a uh, irregular pack for four dollars or something. And that was money because you ain't doing that with a T-shirt, but wearing it under your shirt. But the problem yep. is, if they're irregular, what's wrong with it? So it's funny because I bought a pack one time and the cut was wrong. So I kept grabbing my underarm, like, why does part of my shirt keep digging in my underarm? Obviously, whoever was like doing the, the the sewing and cutting fucked up on the design, and that's why I was irregular. Yeah, but they have like they have like washed up washed up NBA players, NFL player jerseys, and stuff like that. I mean, everything can be new, but it's just like I, that's the only place you can find that stuff. Right. So if you had something like that around here, they might have it in there. They might have Green Hills in there. Cause these are these are like the type of sneakers that they would sell. <laughs> <laughs> no need there. It'd be a fresh, it'd be a fresh a fresh pair for like thirty bucks. Yep. Well, here you go, Phil. Here's the original Nike Air Max One University Red. What's your score? Nine and a half. Mm-hmm. Okay, nine and a half, Jeff. Yeah, I mean. It, it, that's where the Air Max is. I mean, that's where it started. When you wear those, you feel faster, even if you ain't moving. Go ahead. No, 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 no. These these are very dope on feet. Mm -hmm. y yeah, I'm going to give it a nine also. These are the pair of sneakers I always wanted. Every time when I had a chance to get it, they never had my size. <laughs> they never they had my size. Say it again. They might come out again with them in March for uh, because March is Air Max month. Mm -hmm. See, see, I'm glad we. I'm glad that you on here because how the hell I would have known that March is Air Max month? Yeah, I was just thinking <laughs> like, damn, <right? laughs> is Air Max month. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I usually wear a different pair of Air Max every day in March. Yeah, I would have never heard known that March was Air Max month. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Jeff. Here's the LeBron fives. Uh, no, they doing a little too much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll give it a six, maybe, maybe. I mean, yeah, they doing a little too much. I, I don't know. The colorway is dope. I give them that. The colorway, the colorway is very dope. The actual shoe, I, I don't know. Nah. Is it a basketball shoe? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know, I know it's LeBron, but it doesn't look like a basketball shoe. It's not like 
cut right to be a basketball shoe. I don't know. It looks weird to me. All right. So what you give? You want to say something, Jeff? No, 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 no. I, I was saying I, I think, um, I think LeBron has wore this, but when? Who knows? Because he, he wears a different pair of shoes every game. Mm. Yeah. All right, Phil. Four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm in Phil's boat. Four. And like you said, Jeff, there's too much stuff going on. That little gold stripe going across. That uh, uh, yeah. no. That little hook in the back. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. That ain't. That ain't definitely ain't for me. No. All right. Now Levi's and new and and New Balance combined to make the New Balance 327. So. Uh, you see it has the Levi's uh, tag on it. You know, the inside is like denim. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what would you give it, Jeff? I, mean, I don't really rock with New Balance like that. Um, but I will say this about New Balance. When I was in the Marine Corps, they give you a pair of New Balances, you know, for, um, for, 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 for PT, for, 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 for physical training. And I think that was the most comfortable shoe I had ever put on my foot and still probably till this day. Um, so I know the, these look comfortable. Um, the colorway is not bad. I mean, I, I like the collab, Levi and New Balance. Uh, I'll give it about a seven. Go ahead, Phil. I'm going to say a, a six. Not really. It looks a little pointy. Not feeling it too much point. And then what's what's going on in the back? What's with the sole going up the back? We trying to pop yes. a or something? Yeah. So the sole's going. Is in that the for break dancers or something? What's that? <laughs> I guess while you're sitting in the chair, but take yourself from sliding out the chair. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I've only had one pair of New Balance, and I still have them down in their dog. But I use them for like yard work to do stuff around the house, and they're real comfortable. And I've had them for years. So you you write about the the comfortable part. Yeah, man. Uh, I get these at eight. I would I would actually buy these, but but like Philip said, I don't like that little little thing, that little piece of sole in the back. Uh, here's the other colorway, Jeff. Uh, now you can see like the denim, the denim on the inside. But see, I like the gray ones. I like the gray ones more, but I like the sole, the the gum, the gum sole on this one. Yeah. See, I will rate these. Probably one number higher, just because of, of the colorway. But yeah, they got to they got to get rid of, of that thing on, on the back of it because it is <laughs> it, right. Big. Exactly. I think I checked I checked on them. I think they were on sale for eighty nine. Not on sale, but they were they were uh, selling it. I should say for eighty nine ninety. I'm not really sure when I looked at them, but I was like, no, nah, I really don't like that piece in the back. And you know, <laughs> you see the, the front has that piece too going yeah. all the way up. All the way up to, all the way Starting up past. curve. Yeah. 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 Like, I uh, guess that's supposed to good traction for the snow or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here's another Air Max, Phil. Nike Air Max 1 Wolf. Can't go wrong. It's, when you start sh- showing me these sneakers, it's going to be no less than an eight, eight and a, you know, eight and a half. It's going to go anywhere from an eight and a half, eight to up to an Nine and a half. These are dope sneakers. I'm a, I, uh, just looking at this sneaker. And if you asking about this color pattern, yeah, and everything. I'm. I would. I would give this a eight and a half. All right, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I give it a nine. I give it a nine. I mean that that uh that that brown that mocha whatever they want to call it. Man, that's hidden. Mm-hmm. That's, that that's dope. Like that. Like true. That's a perfect fall shoe. I mean, man, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I get these a nine also. Uh, I don't like them as much as the red ones, but either or, you can't really go wrong. Right. So, uh, yeah, I like those. All right, here we go. Another Air Max, Phil. Air Max 90 Architect. Archetype, I'm sorry. Go ahead. What's Please, your school? I'm going to say... Uh, uh... A seven and a half. Okay. And the re- only reason behind the seven and a half, it seemed like the higher the, the, the backs is raised up higher and then the front comes to more of a point. Mm-hmm. That's the only negative I can say about it. Uh Jeff. Uh, uh a five and a half or six. Ooh, why so low? 
because I'm not feeling I'm not feeling around the um around the sock liner. Yeah, I don't and, like that neither. Yeah, and the I mean the colorway ain't too bad, but why they gotta sit there and squiggle in like a two year old sitting there? And <laughs> right. <laughs> Come on, man. They getting a little too outrageous with some of this stuff. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll give it a five and a half, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I've had a couple of these type of sneakers, not that color, but these these Air Max designs. I had those ones. Um good sneaker. I get these a uh I give them a six and a half. Uh I will wear it, but like you said, that sock liner stuff is like got to go. It almost seemed like they didn't sew it all the way uh, or something like that. Yeah, and like you said, that color on the bottom is like somebody like spray painted it or try to draw it in or something like that. No, but if they didn't have that and if they and the sock line was gone, that would have been a good period. That would have been a good sneaker. Mm-hmm. All right, now remember I was telling you how the '95 ones was the original. Now these was mm-hmm. the updated versions of of Philip. The Terminators, I don't the Robotechs. Yeah, know robot, robot boots and shit. <laughs> right. When so, oh. say it again. When when did these come out? Uh, I don't know. I think no, it came I've out. Seen these. Uh, hold on, let me check because uh, I know it wasn't. Uh, it was recently. Hold on. This says ninety five in destruct. Oh Lord. Hold on. I know I seen them here. Uh, I've never seen them. It looks crazy. Mm-hmm. Hold on. You never saw them before, either, Jeff? Mm-mm, no. Mm. That, that, that's why. That's why I was asking. When did these come out? <laughs> like, <laughs> hold on. Uh, the release date was uh, um, December the thirtieth. <laughs> oh, so they come out the end, end of this year? Yes. Oh Lord! Oh, for for two hundred dollars. <laughs> so, so, so can, can I give you? I, I can assume that you're not giving these a good review. <laughs> they'll they'll be at the outlets. I'll just say that. <laughs> All right, Phil. In probably less than a month, and you'll probably be able to get them for a hundred dollars. I promise you. Well, I didn't like the original ones either, and now you got these things looking like robot boots. I'm cool. Yeah, exactly. I'll get these things like exactly. a three. <laughs> a three? Yeah. Uh, Jeff, you want to uh, give a score? <laughs> Man, look, I yeah, I, I agree. A three. <laughs> uh, yeah, we all in the same boat. No way in hell. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. All right, so we have the Nike LeBron's 18s. Uh, go ahead, Jeff. I'm not a big 18s fan. I mean, I see, I, I've seen a lot of colorways, and I see they are just sitting in stores. But um, I actually like this colorway. I mean, it's not... I just give it... I give it a six, maybe. Go ahead, because I'm an 18 fan. Mm. Go ahead, Phil. Not a fan. I'm going to give it a four. It looks like a damn fluffy slipper or something. It just looks <laughs> weird to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I give them a four also. But I do like these, uh, the sole. Now, so, if they, they had all the sole taken off and put it on another pair of sneakers, they'll be all right. Because I like these right here. Mm-hmm. All right, now, Jeff, here's your sneaker. <laughs> Pharrell, Pharrell and Adidas, <laughs> NMDQ. And I also see that you had the chocolate brown ones also. So, so uh, Phil, uh, Jeff had the chocolate brown one of these also. Uh, these are uh, moccasins. So, <laughs> go, go, go ahead and get your review, Jeff. <laughs> I, you know what? I have to, you know what? I have to give Pharrell and Adidas their props on these. One for the comfort, the comfortability, but I'm going to give it. You know, I'm going to take. I'm going to take at least a point or two off because of the the laces. So, so the those laces, 
they you have to loosen them. And I mean loosen them because when they when they come across the top of your foot, it makes it tight. That's fine. Make it make it fit, not tight. So but the actual the actual when you put them on feet, they look better on feet. <laughs> okay. Like, like they they actually look better on feet. I've never had a pair of uh, of NMDs, and I, I said, okay, I want a pair of NMDs, and I love the you know the whole design that they have on top on top of the shoes. So I'm like, okay, I can I can rock with those. And plus, black black's my favorite color. So yeah, I mean, I, I I'm gonna give them I'm gonna give them eight. Oh. Go ahead, yeah. Phil. <laughs> Not feeling it. I mean, if I if I was a ninja and it was black shoe, <laughs> perfect shoe. But um, I'm gonna say a uh, a two. Gosh, dang! It looked like a slipper. It don't look like a shoe. I wouldn't wear nothing like that. Uh, I think maybe if we do this again, I'm going to send, I'm going to have some uh, NMDs, some real MMDs with different, with a different colorway on them. Because like Jeff said, if you've seen them with different colorways, you will probably like them more. I'm not going to say you, you're going to give it like an eight or anything like that, but you'll definitely like them more than these. And these are some ugly sneakers. So I'm going to give, I'm with Philip. I'm giving these a two also. <laughs> but M- M- NMDs aren't a bad sneaker though. Mm-mm. All right, here's the uh, uh, updated Puma Clods. If you saw, I think um, Lamelo Ball wears these. Um, I, well, I know he wore them in one game. I don't know what game was it, the first game or the second game, but he wore these. So go ahead and give it a shitty rating, Phil. A three. <laughs> I figured that. <laughs> <laughs> like something you can find a pay less. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, look, yeah, yeah they look good on the mellow ball. They, they show sure ain't about to be on my feet. No, <laughs> no, yeah, that's about right. I give it, look, I give it, a, I give it a three or four. Those are not the business. Uh, nope. Proof, proof that the people in high positions don't know what they're doing. If you want to uh, have some Puma Clyde, just bring the old ones back. Yeah, look. Or, or so, or make some different colorways to the old ones, or something. Not this stuff. Like, what is this? Uh, yep. So I'm gonna get these two. Mm-hmm. Terrible. All right, Jeff. Now here's your picture. Uh, Philip, a uh, Puma and Adidas uh <laughs> collab for a future rider sneaker. They those are Adidas, and they have Mario in the tongue. And these are Jeff's uh pictures. So go ahead. Since it's your picture, Jeff, go ahead and give me your first review. Uh, a nine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a nine. You wanna know why? Wow. Just, just for nostalgia reasons. Because <laughs> Puma, well, it's not even in fact, do you know this is my first pair of Pumas? My really? Favorite? Yeah, I've never I, if I had a pair of Pumas, it must have been when I was like a kid or something. Mm-hmm. But this this is the first pair I ever bought, but I mean, you know, I'm a gamer. So when I seen this and I seen how they got the Mario Brothers on the on the tongue, and they got the the little uh the the, the little controller that's hanging that's hanging off the side of it, yeah. and they got the power button on one side and the reset button on on, on the other shoe, I'm mm-hmm. like, man, yeah, most definitely, yes, yes, well, I'm all over, and and cool. and. and, and they, they, these joints sold out fast. They go. Yeah, they did sell out, Phil. But uh, go ahead, Phil. Go ahead and give it a shitty rate. <clears throat> I don't think it's a bad sneaker. It looks kind of decent. And then, like you said, with the uh, the nostalgia, with the blended with this, the, the the gaming system with the Mario, that's kind of decent. It's like a collector's item. So I'm going to give it like a seven and a half. I'm shocked. Uh. I don't like the Nintendo stuff. If they took all that power and reset and a little button where the uh, the Puma Puma uh, stripe is, mm-hmm. I would give it a better rating because the colors aren't bad. It's just all the extra stuff in uh, on it. Well, now when you say the extra stuff, that's why I say it'd be good for like a a sneakerhead collector item. Nothing, nothing you wear yeah. on a regular. Nothing. Something you just have to show people. You know what I mean? To show who? 
Whoever want to see a sneaker collection? I don't know. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm gonna get these a five. I'm gonna get these five. They they look like uh well they look she, like something that you would like. So why would you give it a low rating? Because I don't like all that power reset, that button there, the the Mario Brother tongue. I don't like all that stuff. They look like uh Cabana Racers. Um, I know Jeff, you you know what Cabana Racers are. You see, you you said this was your first Puma, so I don't think you know. No, I do not. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of look like Cabana Racers. I have uh, two pairs of Cabana Racers upstairs. They kind of look that looks very similar. That's why. That's why I said these look like something you would like. I can't believe you gave it a little rating. And I never had Pumas before. I probably never will. So I'm not a big Puma guy. Uh, that is just because of the power, the little button there where the uh the the stripe is, the power reset, the Microsoft, um, the Mario Brothers tongue. Nah, uh. Uh-uh. Last but not least, uh, here's the the we did the D Brown Shack, the re, D Brown rebound pumps. Now here's the Shack rebound rebound pumps. Go ahead, Jeff. Mm-mm. No, no. <laughs> I, you know what? I remember these, and <laughs> the only people who really wore these, who who I seen play basketball, were like the bigger people. Big now, dudes, right? Yeah, man. Like I I can't see myself walking around here. Talk about some, yeah, these are my kicks of the day with them big old shoes on because those things are huge. Right. That, so, so not only big people wearing them, but the shoe itself is actually wide and big. Yeah. Like, uh uh-uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I, I might ball in it, maybe, but I'm not about to be walking around in them in for no fashion. Yeah. I, I'll give them a five. Mm, go ahead, Phil. I'm probably going to give it a little bit lower than a five because I wouldn't wear them. So probably like a four, four and a half. Well, well I'm shocked at both of y'all. Um, when when did they uh, release the uh, Reebok pumps? That was like about two years ago, maybe three years ago. Which and one? The uh, they, rele- they released both of them at the same time. They released the Shacks and the D Browns at the same time. Uh, when well, did you get yours? Uh... I, they came out in 2016 because oh, okay, I, yeah. yeah, I remember I got them right before they came out with the Tupac movie. Yeah, so I, I got mine at the same time. They had these and they had uh they had the D Brown ones on sale. I wanted the Shaq one so bad, but they ain't having in my size, of course, because that's everything with sneakers. That's all that happens to me. Every time I see something I like, they never have it in my size. So uh, I got the D Browns instead. I wish I'd have had these ones, and I'm so I, I'm shocked that that you would have these re- had these so low. Yeah, I'm. They they are just too big of a shoe. Like they, the them things are huge. Look how big. <laughs> look how tall the tongue is above his shoe. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get these about a good seven and a half. Okay. Yeah, I always like these. I rather I rather had these than the D Brown ones. So I, I'm upset that this didn't come out the way I wanted to because uh Philip, me and Philip kind of agreed a lot, a lot on sneakers, and I'm shocked. You finally coming on to the right side. No, I'm not neither. <laughs> 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 and I, I'm shocked that dude. I'm shocked that uh, uh, we damn agree pretty much uh, on almost every sneaker, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, look, yeah, guess, yeah, you know what? Here's what you do: get some upcoming releases, and let's see, you know, shoes shoes that that I don't have yet. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, then like uh, like I know next month they got. They got probably like two or three shoes I might want, but February, Nike and every other brand goes stupid in February because of the NBA All Star Game. So, like, like they're coming out with the Carmine Sixes. That was, you know, without a doubt that that I'm definitely getting them. So, well, all right, Jeff, do you want to plug your Twitter and Instagram? Uh, I'll plug my Twitter because I, I talk to more people. Um, um, my Twitter is uh, His Excellence Seventy Nine. You know, uh, my name is Jeff Baker. So just uh, hit me up anytime. Follow me. I usually follow back. The majority of my page is about sneakers. No, I don't. Uh, no, I might. I might. I might throw a, a, a few 
silly stuff I seen in, I seen on Twitter or, or, or whatever because yeah, the world is crazy right now. But uh, we still got to keep some kind of humor. So. Well, you can reach us on Twitter and Facebook at PNL Judgmentals. Instagram at the two underscores judgmentals, or you can email us at pnljudgmentals at gmail.com. I thank y'all and uh, have a good holiday, Jeff. All right, man. Hey, y'all do too, man. You, are, y'all- you already got your gifts already. I see you got your uh, PS, your PS5, your Xbox, and you got what did you get? A, a, a headphones, a controller, a new uh, P, a place. What did you get? Yeah, headphones for my uh, PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, see, and, and you like to rub it in everybody's face who couldn't get one. <laughs> no, you know what, man? Look, I, I had never wanted any accessories for any PlayStation. I want all the accessories for uh, this uh, PlayStation Five. I'm like, man, I'm like, oh, this stuff is dope. I'm like, they must have. I, I, I don't know if it's the design or what, but all oh, this stuff is dope. I'm like, dang, like this is nice. So, uh, real quick, how is that cyberpunk? Do you have that? I do not have that, but I I am hearing bad, bad things about it. So, I probably won't ever play it. Right, because they they gave it horrible reviews, and they said it was, like, super buggy. Well, uh, PlayStation pulled it. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. Yeah, PlayStation pulled it. Now, you know, look, that right there tells you how bad the game is. If a whole company pulls the game and says, no, we ain't... We don't even want this on our system. And that right there tells you uh, it, it's that bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's the Carmichael's. Uh, oh, the Carmichael's? The Carmichael's. Can you see my, my page? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Most definitely. Uh, do, uh, yeah, those are the Jordan 6s, the ones that had the uh, funny colors on them. Back then, I don't like this piece here though. He look, Mike had Mike told uh Tinker Hatfield to put that put that on the back of of the shoe because he was having a hard time putting on the fives and all the other shoes before it. So he told uh he told Tinker Hatfield, hey, do something about you know helping me put on this shoe. And he he came and that's what he came up with. Sixes are y'all like that. So. Let me see. Uh, yeah, that's that with them on. Yep, OGs. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they're back. and they're coming out on February the thirteenth, like you said. Yep, right before Valentine's Day. Man, man, that these are these are gonna sell out so fast. Mm-hmm. So how do you how do you get? Because I see you always uh, uh be wanting be wanting uh sneakers and all be wanting uh what biz to, to buy the sneakers, drones to buy yeah. the sneakers. Now yeah. how do you uh how do, how will someone win these drones? Any special well, way? Uh, you know what? So Foot Locker, Foot Locker, Foot Action Champs. They're all Foot Locker owns East Bay Champs Foot Action. Uh, final score, a couple and, and, and a couple of, of other stores. So, Foot Locker said, um, "We're going to change our system up with the whole raffle thing." <laughs> I can't. I, I, I've hit on there one time since they changed that back in since last February. I don't even. I don't even even really deal with them anymore. So, Finish Line, they changed theirs too. But with Finish Line, you can actually add on extra extra tickets to try and you know win the shoe so if it's a shoe i know everybody wants then i know i'm putting in probably like 10 to 15 extra tickets to to try and win to buy the shoe like the one like the uh the the 13s i picked up today i only put in like two extra tickets because i knew i knew that that they would be like a huge gr i knew that everybody i knew not everybody would actually want them so i say okay you know (laughs) Sometimes you know I lose. I, I I lose. Like I went on losing streaks this year, and I'm like, dang man, like I can't hit on nothing. But lately, I've actually been hitting some. I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right, so you rubbing it, you rubbing in our faces about your Xbox, your PlayStation Five, <laughs> and you winning sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. All right, man. Have a good holiday. All right, man. Y'all, y'all take it easy, man. Enjoy your holidays. All right, man. All right, man. Jeff. You too. All right, brother. Yeah. I can tell you're mad at me just by how your face look. You can check the status on my level, not my Facebook. Comments on my photos, that's why I stay on the low low. Most of y'all is associates, so I be on my dolo. Hold up, whoa, whoa, hold the phone. You